Welcome to Kyler's studio. Today we're going to take these pieces of wood and turn it into whiskey barrel posts to hang your backyard mood lighting. Cue the intro. Materials for this project, you're going to need to find some whiskey barrels at your local brewery or some warehouses sell them after they're done with them, usually already cut in half for you. For the wood, since it's outside, you want treated 4x4s and treated 2x4s, we just found them on sale. And you can put small gravel in the top or sand or dirt for flowers, whatever you want. After a lot of deliberation, this was our unique approach. We decided to do angled 2x4s on the bottom. It was the simplest and the easiest. These are outdoor construction screws just cut at different angles. 45 on the bottom and a 50, 55 something on the top, whatever fits best. Get your post plumb in the middle and primed with screws. Now you can use cement if you want for the weight and stability, but we wanted to take ours apart in the future just in case we wanted to move them. Had some extra cinder blocks so broke that up and just put those in the bottom this is just for the extra weight if you didn't already get the diameter of your whiskey barrel to cut a circle in the plywood with your jigsaw and then measure from the inside of the whiskey barrel to where your post currently sits and you can add about maybe I don't know an eighth to a quarter of an inch so that your post will easily fit through this square hole in the middle then the easiest method is to drill a hole in the corner and use a jigsaw to cut out the square so that your post will fit through the square and fit inside the top of your barrel. If you have another scrap 4x4 piece, just use it to test it and make sure it slides well through. That way it'll just save you some trouble. Now I erred on the side of caution with the circle. I made it just a slightly bigger than it needed to be and then went around with a pencil after it was slid on to cut more exact dimensions to where it would just barely fit in the inside. It's a lot easier to cut some wood off than to try to glue some on later. And the reason I wanted it just the size of the top diameter is because I didn't want it too deep. The shallower it is, the fewer rock bags we need to buy. So it's a couple back and forths between the jigsaw. I finally got it to fit in the top and then it was just a matter of wedging it down into the barrel to make it secure. Just take a rubber mallet and pound it down in, and if, if you want, you can use your spare piece of 4x4 to get the edges and make sure they don't peel up. Now one step we skipped was putting a weatherproof seal on top of the plywood. You may want to do that, especially if you haven't uh, put in any drainage holes. And if you want to go the extra mile, you could screw in some knobs so you can actually pull it up later. I figure if we're going to pull it up, just pop some screws on there and then go to town. In fact, if you're really going to tear it apart, you probably just need to take an ax to that thing because I don't know if that's coming out. Then just evenly fill your top with gravel and then you can add any accessories that you want to the pole. We just got some solar panel string lights so it doesn't even attach to power. You just mount the solar panel on and put some hooks in there to string these. Weird mounting bracket, so I just used some scrap wood to put an angle on it. We decided to put the solar panels on either end and string the middle with paracord so the lights would be evenly spaced. Overall, the project turned out quite nicely. With a little bit of work, you can make a non-permanent lighting situation work for you. If you like this video, subscribe!